Welcome back, guys. Uh, back here in Aurora, Ohio. We got a uh, beautiful little sunset going on here. Wind's died down. Uh, the Indians just won their last game ever as the Indians. Uh, I was there. That was awesome. So playing with this, we've watched some YouTube videos playing with the high alpha stuff. And uh, we're going to try it with safe mode. We think some of the guys that have been doing it have been in... Uh, maybe deceivingly in safe mode. I've tried it in uh, you know normal mode before and it's a little bit of work, so yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what we get. And uh, hey, let's have some fun. All right. All right, let's see what we get. It is currently in safe mode. So uh, here we go. Oh, it just pops right up there, doesn't it? All right, so obviously limited bank angle there. Limited pitch, which is almost basically vertical, but <laughs> I think you can uh, adjust that in some, so. All right, let's slow it down and bring it over and see what we can get out of it. It's a... Uh, let her descend a little bit. It's kind of far out there. And the thought is, you might be able to, if you get it at the right speed, you can bring your stick all the way back. Yeah. So that's just it. Like I said, playing with the bank angles and the high alpha stuff, getting the speeds just right. Because that's always the thing when, you know, if you're letting it fly as usual. I've been off the throttle this whole time. All right, my stick's all the way back. Don't stall. Right, so a little, little, little climb there. All right, let's see. Sticks all the way back. Uh, so it'll pitch forward a little bit. It's definitely got some wing wobble. Use the rudder to kick that around. So I'm gonna keep the stick back. I'm gonna try to control the altitude with the throttle, which is what you do when you're behind the power curve. Sticks all the way back, throttle coming down, throttle coming up. Use that rudder and try to bring it back around. When you get that, if you get too high a pitch, you can back off that elevator a little bit. Yeah. But if you get that sweet spot, you're right, I think it's just throttle. It's still definitely working it. There's a little bit of wind up there. It's kind of died down here a little bit. Huh, that was a little stall right there. Yeah, come down this way. Yeah, that's, that's what we've been kind of looking for. I uh, obviously don't want to hit the corn, so I'm just keeping it high over there. Time remaining, 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, 40 seconds. I haven't had, it's three minute timer, but I've barely done anything with the, uh, the power here, so. So I got the stick back all the way. Just trying to control that altitude with the throttle when you pitch up a little bit. I gotta let off it a little bit, but a little aileron, a little rudder to bring it around. See if I can kind of settle this in here. Sticks all the way back. <laughs> well, it's definitely different in the safe mode. Let me uh, flip that off. It's been a minute since I've flown this one. Do one more pass, we'll land it, check the battery. 
seen guys doing, you know, slower. I know I do a lot of things fast, and some guys do like really good slow rolls, hesitation rolls, four point rolls. It's not stuff that I want to kind of work on, but all right. Just for the sake of it. Safe mode. So I've always basically landed this in normal mode, but since we're playing with high alpha and safe modes and whatnot, let's uh kind of bring her in that way. A little bounce, a little rut there, but uh, there you go. Oh, and, and per the use, canopy pops off. But uh, hey, she's back. We got her. So we'll uh, check the battery on here, see where we're at. We'll throw another one in there if we need to, and uh, we'll get her back up here. All right, the GoPro still on my forehead. Hopefully, you can see this. And we get a lot of questions about battery placement and whatnot. So uh, on this one, about as far back in the tray as it can go based on what we got here. Uh, we've seen different trays. We got another F-16. I think the tray was a little bit different size, but uh, basically push it back is what we're doing. So got a new battery in here and uh, we'll get her back up. All right, battery number two, reset the timer. It's on three minutes. I went four minutes and 21 seconds. That last one came out to 32%. Again, just kind of keeping it low and uh, a little bit of a crosswind here, but hey. That's fine. That's what you get. All right, here we go. Gear up. Kind of crabbing it into the wind. <laughs> oh yeah, save that one. About 25% on the throttle here, just bringing it back around. Again, try to keep it in the wind. We got a little crosswind going on, so. power bring it back around off the throttle Ooh, got a little breeze kicking up Kicking around with the rudder there. Elevators all the way back. A little bit on the aileron. Yeah, it's kind of goosing it, helping it out here and there. Trying not to hit the corn. Try one more. We'll, uh, I think I'm down to a minute. Heard the beep. But again, there's plenty of power on this thing right now because I'm not doing much with it at all. Still in safe mode. Nice. 
know, he's trying to go past the door to run over the wheel. Down. In case you do hit. Time remaining, 13 seconds. Got plenty more time than that. So let's, uh, I'm going to keep it in safe mode. Not worried about the timer so much right now. Again, I haven't been flying it too hard. Up over the corn. Now let's bring it around and see if I can not bounce this landing as much as I did the last one. Basically on that last one I just kind of was letting it settle in. I didn't have all the way, the elevator all the way back yet so I thought that might give me just enough there but it didn't. So let's try to settle this one in a little easier. I'll take it. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> Can't have a proper landing on this thing without the hatch blowing off. So, uh, you might throw one more in here, uh, play around a little bit more. Again, always appreciate your support. Hit that like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again here in a second. Sunset. Oh, yeah. All right, one more for you guys. Uh, wind's still crosswind, just but it's dying down a little bit. Um, I got it in normal mode. Uh, we're just gonna play around with this one, do a couple loops, rolls, and have a good time. Like I said, it's been a, been a little bit since I flown this one, so off we go. <laughs> Full throttle. Oh, pretty. About half uh, throttle here, a little fifty percent. Running out of airspeed, I'm gonna roll it. I got some of those guys that I've seen, like I said, doing the, the four point rolls, and I, you know, I'm not any place to do those near the ground at this point. There was a, yeah, that was it. <laughs> so you can, you gotta work that elevator and rudder in there. And, One minute mark there.
Well, there's the three minutes, and like I said, I've been playing with this one a little harder, so. We'll bring her on in. Still in uh, normal mode. Catch a bug back there? Bugs are coming out. It's that season. Fall season in Ohio. And it, wait, wait, wait for it. There it goes. <laughs> oh, is that hatch? So yeah, coming off, you know, the landings in uh, the normal mode there, you know, they, they come in a little faster. I mean, you can get them in the high alpha. It's a little more work, you know, than landing in uh, a high alpha and safe mode. But uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in doing anything like that, you know, obviously an awesome, capable jet, the uh, E-Flight S16 Thunderbird 70 millimeter. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this. Hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.